Hey guys, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer. I just spent a few days in the woods and I thought you guys might want to take a look at the gear that I took along with me. The primary cutting tool that I took along with me into the woods and the um, uh, Appalachian Mountains, um, this time of year it's pretty thick. The primary cutting tool that I took along with me is this Galavan, Galavan Colombian made machete. And it just, for building shelters and just general camp chores and crafts and stuff, this thing really gets the job done. I like it a lot. It's really, really light. Um, and it's just a handy, handy tool to have around camp. Maggie and I are waiting on you to hit the thumbs up. So as soon as you do that, we'll carry on. So this is the pack that I took along with me for the three days. It's just a Hill People Gear Tara Humara pack, my everyday carry pack that I use for everything, all of my adventures. The only time I wouldn't use this pack is in the winter time when I needed to bring a, a bigger sleeping bag and I wanted to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, warming layers, that kind of thing. It's just not quite enough real estate in this pack. But for summertime, man, this thing is, has everything that I need for a few days, no questions asked. Um, and on the outside, I've taken to carrying a, um, a sleep pad like this one. This is a Thermarest. I've cut off a few sections just to make it a little bit smaller. All you really need on a Thermarest or any, any kind of mattress is enough to cover from pretty much your shoulder to your knee. And that's gonna keep your core temperature where it needs to be. It's gonna keep you up off of the ground, keep the important bits up off of the ground. And that's what I have here, just the accordion style, uh, super lightweight. And I mean, yeah, I can build a mattress out of natural materials, but why would you spend two hours doing such a thing if you can carry something like this that weighs absolutely nothing? So really, really worth its weight right there. Um, now in the side pouches here on my, my little pack, I've just got a few things. On this, um, this side pouch here, I've got an extra blade. So I've got my um, machete, obviously, but then I've got an extra blade here if I should need a small blade if I, it makes it just easier to gut a fish or something like that if I caught one, that kind of deal. This is um, a Mora, Mora Eldris. Really, really handy little knife. Excellent for scraping sparks off of a ferro rod. Uh, just small little chores. Really, really good knife in a custom Kydex sheath. Um, and then I've also got, I've got all this stuff lanyarded to my, my pack so I can't lose it, it can't fall out. These are important things, so I don't want to lose them. And I've got a nice big uh, five or six inch, half inch uh, in diameter ferro rod here that I use sec as my secondary fire starter. I always have a lighter in my pocket, um, but if the lighter should fail, run out of fuel, whatever it may be, um, I've always got this ferro rod here. Now in this other side pocket here, all I keep is my spoon. Spoon for eating my meals. Just keep that handy. And then I just throw a few snacks in there. I need to replenish this thing, but um, I've got a couple of these dried kind of fruit bars, some beef sticks, jerky, that kind of thing. I just jam in there to snack on throughout the day because when I'm out doing this kind of, uh, that kind of camping, um, adventuring, if you will, I usually just eat one meal a day and just snack a little bit throughout the day if I feel like I need it. And then I've also got a very small fishing kit. This is my fishing kit. And believe it or not, it has everything that you need to catch some fish out of a small stream or pond up here. Um, and I will be doing a video on that very, very soon. Now, in this back envelope where you would put a hydration bladder um, is where I keep my primary source of shelter, my rain gear slash shelter, and that is a poncho. And if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of a poncho. And that's what I sleep underneath. It's just me by myself camping. so. I bring a poncho and that's it. It's more than enough shelter to keep me out of the rain. Um, helps keep you a little bit warmer if you set it up low to the ground too. Um, that requires, so that way I don't have to bring as many warming layers. It gets down to maybe high 50s, 60s this time of year. So it's, you know, not that big a deal. And the poncho is more than enough cover for me. I've also got a trash bag in here. This is a 55 gallon drum liner that I could use for all sorts of things. If my poncho should be damaged for some reason, I've got a backup sort of shelter 
um, drape this around you, keep the rain off your shoulders when you're sitting around camp, something like that, if you've got your poncho set up as your shelter already. So just a handy little piece of plastic like that. Um, and then I've also got the Vargo titanium wood stove. I didn't use it, but it's nice to have. Um, you can, I had an actual fire while I was out, but if you wanted just a small little fire, just, just feed it with some small twigs to boil some water for your uh, mountain house or whatever, this thing is really, really nice. And you don't even know you have it, so why not just bring it along? So in the main compartment here, the main pocket, I have some cordage. This is a ridge line paracord ridge line that I've already got set up to set up my um, my uh, poncho. Uh, I didn't use this. All I did was just do a kind of a military uh, ranger poncho hooch this time around, but but if I needed it, I could set it up like that if I want to do more of kind of lean-to type shelter. I've got my one and only container. It's a stainless steel Stanley cook pot. Um, where I live and where I was um, this these past few days, there's really no need to carry water with me. I don't have a water bottle. I could bring one, it makes it maybe a little more convenient and I could be a little bit more flexible on where I make my camps. I don't have to be so close to the water source, but there are spring heads everywhere and you can drink water directly from the earth. It's not a big deal. All you gotta do is dip dip your cup in the ground or in the, um, in the spring and just drink away. No boiling, no filtering, none of that needed. So I can go really, really light and really, really minimal and carry just that. Um, boiled my water in this for my mountain house meals that I'll show you in just a second. Um, and it's just, you know, really, really minimal, easy way to do the thing. And the lid is nice too, because you can put this directly in the fire and it keeps all the ashes and sticks and twigs and barks and stuff out of your water. But in there, I have all the small little things, whoop, I'm dropping some stuff. I have all the small little things that might get lost in my pack, like my toothbrush. Um, and this mesh bag keeps that stuff organized when the pot is in use. Um, I have duct tape, just a small little wound up roll of duct tape here, which I could use for gear repair, patching my poncho, which it actually needs a couple of pieces of duct tape on it. It's got a couple of burn holes from embers from the fire. I could patch them up with this. Uh, but what I used this for actually was helping me get my fire going. I was feeling a little bit lazy and didn't feel like struggling too much. So what I did was take about maybe six, eight inches of this tape, wrapped it around a bundle of wet twigs, lit the, pit, lit the uh, duct tape on fire, and it got my fire going. A six inch strip of this burns for quite a while. Um, so it just is a quick, easy way to get your fire going and you don't have to worry about it if it's really, really wet like it was these past, past few days. Couple of banks of, uh, or hanks of paracord. Extra batteries for the flashlight that's in my pocket. Um, I mean, like all this stuff is in addition to the things that I keep in my pockets. And if you wanna watch my EDC video, you can do that. We did one uh, several months back, but you can take a look at that one uh, and see the stuff that I've got in my pockets. I've got a simple compass. Didn't use it, didn't need it. I knew my way around really, really well, but it's there if I need it. I have a signal mirror that I keep still in the plastic package. Um, this is great for signaling, of course. Where I was, signaling with this was probably not even a possibility because it's just so thick and dense. But um, it could also be used for like a first aid if I should get something in my eyeball and I need to take a look at it. Just having a small mirror like that could be really, really handy. Some more miscellaneous cordage, some smaller diameter stuff. And then to finish off the little pouch there, I've got an extra lighter and a sharpener for my knife or the machete. And now in the bottom of my little pot here, I keep um, just some teas. I've got three packs. I had some more in there, but I used them obviously. Three packs of green tea. And then I also have some Ziploc bags full of salt and sugar. The sugar for the tea if I want it. The salt if I was to catch a fish or something and I wanted to flavor it up a bit. Um, the salt is just nice to have. And then my toothbrush. And now a lot of people are gonna ask about first aid. Um, do I have a first aid kit in my pack? No, I don't have a first aid kit in my pack. Uh, my EDC, I have a small, um, what do you call it, a buff? 
it's a cotton buff basically that I that I wear at night, keep the mosquitoes off of me, that kind of thing, and that can be used as some sort of a bandage. I also have a tourniquet in my pocket that if I was to have some sort of major malfunction, that could stop the bleeding, and, and that would be a, a bad situation if I had to use that. I could use the tourniquet. It's a rat tourniquet, so it's just really a big thing of elastic, um, and I could use that to hold a bandage on. And then in addition to that, I have this really huge, great big piece of cotton, 100% cotton cloth that can be used for all sorts of things, just limitless uses for something like this. I used it to cover up at night, used it kind of a little, a little bit of a blanket, um, wrap it around your neck as a scarf if it got a little bit cold, wanted to trap in more of that body heat. Obviously, you cut it up, use it for bandages, really just name it, filtering water, whatever. Really, really handy. I always carry something like this with me. I know somebody out there is going to be like, oh, you need a blowout kit and, you know, all this other stuff. But really, I think I can handle just about all situations that I might come across in the woods with that big piece of cloth and that tourniquet. And the duct tape, too, works for just making small little bandages for your fingers and that kind of stuff. Uh, I brought Mountain House meals. I haven't replenished my kit. I took three of these with me, so one meal a day. Um, simple and easy. You guys get it. I don't have to explain Mountain House to you. It weighs nothing, and it's just the easiest camp meal that you can pretty much make. Um, and then I didn't have a sleeping bag. It's only 55 was, I think, was the lowest temperature that it got. And all I brought was this puffy jacket. It's a um, synthetic down um, from TrueSpec. And it just, it's really, really warm. It dries fast and it just, and it works. I can cover up with it, I can put it on. And I was plenty warm enough, never got cold once. And it rained constantly the whole time. Um, and in the pocket, additional warming layer, I have this fleece hat also from uh, TrueSpec. Really inexpensive. I think these things are like six bucks and they just dry fast and keep your head warm when you're trying to sleep at night. Um, Last but not least is my Garmin InReach Mini, GPS unit and uh, emergency SOS. And I can also send text messages via satellite through my phone with this little handy deal here. And I've got that carabinered on inside the pack where it's not gonna, be, not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be nice and safe and made sure it's charged up before I went. Um, with this stuff, I spent three days in the woods very comfortably had no issues whatsoever. More than comfortable with just this little bit of kit that I've got. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you leave me a comment, something I'm missing, something I'm a bonehead for not having. Tell me uh, what your favorite movie is. I don't care, just make sure you leave me a comment because it helps with YouTube voodoo algorithms. And we'll see you next time. Almost forgot, also in my jacket pocket, I have a spare set of socks. Very important, keeping your feet healthy, keeping your feet dry. These darn tough socks are the best.